Hello and welcome. And in this section, we're going to be focusing on a text field. So we're going to be uh, taking a, a deep uh, dive into text field and what it can do uh, within the realm of Swift UI. So, uh, so before we actually start uh, our video, I uh, quickly wanted to uh, share uh, a, another resource uh, that I've been working on. So uh, basically, if you go to uh, www.devtechie.com, you're going to land on our new website. And uh, this website is going to have like, you know, um, basically a lot of resources. Uh, currently, I'm actually putting together all the resources so you can uh, start using them. But essentially, um, for example, if you uh, take a look at a Swift UI uh, image view, um, you're going to notice that the, uh, there's like, you know, a read more and it has like, you know, all the deep dive sessions uh, available for you. So all the source code and basically screenshots a detailed documentation of what that particular section does. OK, so it's divided into uh, sections so you can actually follow along. And uh, basically, uh, if you need to get hold on basically the uh, source code you can just copy it from here and see what that code does all right uh, so i'm going to be doing the same thing for uh, many uh, upcoming uh, videos so uh, go ahead and uh, visit devtechie.com if while you're there like you know if you'd like to subscribe uh, very soon i'm going to start a weekly newsletter where i'm going to be uh, sending out uh, new updates uh, not only related to like, you know, new articles, courses and everything that's coming out. And this place is going to be the center for all the things that uh, is going to come out from DevTechie. So once again, go ahead and check it out. And uh, yeah, and uh, let's go ahead and continue into our video. So uh, going back to text field. So text field basically is a control uh, that displays in editable text interface okay so text field basically creates uh, an input uh, field that user can interact with text field provides you ability to read and write text into the apps and it's the counterpart of ui text field from ui get okay so text field uses binding values uh, to get and set the text uh, which enables us to work directly with data okay so let's go ahead and start with a simple example so what i'm going to do is um, i'm going to start creating these uh, small uh, snippets so you can actually grab them uh, from the source code um, okay so first one is going to be simple example so i'm going to just say example one maybe some view okay and uh here uh, we're gonna basically uh, create our very first text field so we're gonna start with um basically having a uh, state variable so at state private var and we're gonna call this one title so what we're gonna be doing is we're gonna be creating a text field to enter dev techie courses new entry new title okay so i'm gonna create a v stack all right inside the v stack i'm gonna have a um, text this text is basically going to be a label uh, which is gonna be called dev techie courses all right and uh, we're gonna make this large title font let me go ahead and resume the uh, preview section and uh, I'm going to actually call this example one here so we actually render what we are typing all right okay so uh, then we're going to create a v stack uh, in this v stack we are going to have an alignment and alignment is going to be in the leading direction and uh, we're going to have a text another text uh, basically uh, view enter new course title okay so basically we're gonna give this a font title three all right and uh, we're gonna create our text field okay so text field uh, 
like many other uh, views I have like several overloads and uh, one of the overload that you're gonna see is like you know there's a title key which takes a localizable uh, string key uh, and there's another one that's title title so basically these title keys that takes a localizable string key uh, they have exact same signature like you know as the other one that the one that you see down here which simply takes a string protocol uh, value essentially a string so what it does basically is whenever you enter something here um, this uh, enter title here for example is gonna be looked up uh, in your localizable file okay if we don't have any localizable file then this text right here is gonna directly go inside your text field so basically it's gonna be displayed as is okay so that's why if you see like you know these localizable string if you have like you know localizable file um, then it's gonna be referred from there to uh, adapt so your app can adapt basically to that locale well localization is another like huge topic so we're gonna cover that uh, sometime in future but right now let's go ahead and focus on text field so the simplest form of text field you can create is basically taking uh, a string input about like you know what this text field does and a binding value now this binding value is gonna be bound to this title okay so let's go ahead and like use dollar dollar title to that and there we go as you can see the first string that you entered here became your placeholder okay and uh, that placeholder is gonna basically give user a hint what this text field is all about and what I'm gonna do for this parent level V stack I'm gonna add some padding all right and let me go ahead and run this so um, Okay, so there is a simulator issue that I've actually experienced where like, you know, if I type from keyboard, uh, it doesn't show and um, um, it actually tries to launch a software keyboard here, but it's not being shown. So that is uh, one of the issues that I've been facing. So let me go ahead and run this. I'm gonna actually cancel and um, I'm gonna go back here and uh, I'm gonna call this instead I'm gonna call text field deep dive okay so let me go ahead and relaunch and there we go this is our text field and you can enter your values in the text field and as you can see the placeholder disappears as soon as you erase the last entry that you have entered your placeholder text is gonna come back okay so that is your uh, most basic form of text field all right so um, once again in this video we talked about like you know how to create a text field in the next video we're gonna talk about styling this okay so i'll see you guys in next video thank you